hey guys let's make some baked macaroni and cheese so as you can see my macaroni look it's so beautiful it not only look good it tastes good too so today we're gonna use some kobe jack some made cheddar cheese some mozzarella cheese i made it have a piece of plant-based cheese inside my fridge and i'm going to use it also look it right there so so as you can see the macaroni we're using today so what i'm going to do i'm going to put some a pot on the fire with some water to boil and some salt you know well salt your pot because you want the macaroni if you have flavor itself so you don't know me cannot do um cook without using some complete season so today we have complete season paprika and garlic powder and we are going to use some half and half a lot of people like to put every cream inside of their inside of their macaroni but i find when i use half and half you know half milk half every cream and we're going to use some carnation milk also inside it so as you can see we're taking you back to long time days when you have to grate a cheese because there's something about grating your own cheese that make your macaroni more delicious i don't know what it is but that is just me you understand so as you can see my water start boil so i add the macaroni inside it for cook me finish to greater all my cheese this take me back to jamaica one time you know you grow up and you have a great like coconut you have a great like potato you have a great like everything because back then we don't have blender so you don't know a great i do it so i take all my season my paprika my garlic powder my complete season put them in a bowl use a spoon mix that up you know incorporate everything together because we're going to add it to the roux inside this pot we have some butter and we're gonna put some flour inside it and we're just going to mix that round and cook that if you don't know if you make a roux it's so easy you just have to stand up by the stove and just trust the process you know you're gonna see it like it it coggle up like the flour inside it but just trust the process so as you can see i'm adding my evaporated milk to the pot to the flour mixing that out whisking it and i'm going to add also the season inside it because you don't know you have to season up your roux for it, the macaroni to have enough flavor inside it a lot of people just season up the macaroni itself put it in a roux man and you will see the difference so as you can see i'm mixing it after i finish to come to a boil you know start to ticking up i'm going to add my cheese before i add my cheese i turned on the stove low because you know you don't want your cheese to be be gluey gooey or whatever you may call it so as you can see i reach a consistency i need it look how rich and pretty and beautiful that look and you know only look beautiful it is good macaroni finish i strain that off and then i add it to the sauce and then i'm going to incorporate everything together listen you should hear this sound it going like pluck 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 <laughs> yes so i'm mixing everything together i give it a taste test to see if it need any more season and it was perfect did not need anything more so i get myself my baking pan and i pour everything inside it not everything half a macaroni inside it and then we're gonna add some cheese and then we're gonna add the rest of cheese on top and we're gonna put that inside the oven for bake for 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven mighty jesus when i tell you this macaroni and cheese tastes good but listen if you're a person who don't like cheese don't try this don't try this recipe because all you will be tasting is cheese sauce <laughs> so as you can see i finished the you know finish off the macaroni with the cheese on top and i'm placing it inside the oven close that love that leave that and let the oven do its thing don't even open by the oven to look at it until you're 45 minutes when it finish if you take it out and you find you want the top to be more brown just add it back underneath there for like five more minutes and then you will get a browner but i like mine this way listen we just take it out of the oven and we cannot wait to get a test taste of this so as you can see me grab a spoon and we start you know sherry out and look at that look at that goodness look at that goal <laughs> so as you don't know kisara have to come and give our honest opinion and try it and you know get our taste test and i was approved listen it's so good it's so good when i tell her it's good it's good anyway guys i'm out see you in the next video